We are back now with the young women who took matters into their own hands when they chased down a suspected porch pirate. Rebecca Jarvis is here with a story and what people should really do in this type of situation. Good morning to you, Rebecca. Yes, nice to see you, Robin. Porch pirates caused up to $8 billion in theft last year, and these women, they recently took those matters into their own hands when someone else got a hold of their packages. Excuse me! Call it the nightmare before Halloween. Watch as an alleged thief snatches a package containing costumes from a porch in Bridgeport, Connecticut. I swear to God, if that's my Halloween costume. Even though it's not recommended by law enforcement, the victims instinctively reacting, chasing the suspect in their car. In the moment, it was like fight or flight, and I was like, no package is going to be here if I reorder it. <laughs> then we jump up and we follow her all yeah. the way down into outside. Yeah, we're like, if we're doing this, we're doing it together. <laughs> Do you want the police called? Give me the package. I felt in the moment like I was invincible. invincible. Um, <laughs> I know now that it could have ended very badly. With their package full of Halloween costumes, medications, and some TV cables back in hand, the girls calling the police. We made a police report. He made sure to tell us, like, that's not safe. Porch pirates caused up to $8 billion in theft last year alone and seem to be getting more and more brazen. In June, I rode along with members of the Metropolitan Police Department of Washington, D.C.'s 5th District on one of their decoy package operations. This is an area where there's a really high amount of theft. Yes. Officers work with community members, leaving packages equipped with air tags in high crime areas with the hopes of reducing thefts like these. People knowing that this is happening in its own way keeps people from doing this because they're afraid that that package might be the one that was dropped off by the police department. Correct. And that's really the main goal. It's really looking at behavioral change as opposed to punitive change. The program leading to a 17 percent reduction in theft. And again, thankfully, these young college women, they were not hurt. Chasing after a porch pirate, generally not recommended. But there are a few things that you can do to deter them. Obviously, track your packages, require a signature, sign up for notifications. If you can't be at home at the time of delivery, talk to a neighbor, ship to an Amazon locker, or do the store pickup option. Also, installing motion detectors, lights, security cameras, and a doorbell camera, ring, wise, blink, they all have them for for about $150, that can be a big deterrence as well, guys. That's a big help right yep. there. All right, Rebecca, we appreciate you as Thank always. You.